Hello everyone, welcome to Code Astrology. In this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how you can uh, synchronize your e-commerce product data to the Google Sheet step by step. First of all, go to your WordPress dashboard and from plugins, add new plugin. Search the plugin name as product stock synchronize with the Google Sheet. Then you can see the plugin by Code Astrology team. Install now. Activate. Go to product, I mean plugin settings. Here you have to insert some credentials like you know, Google Sheet URL, Sheet Name, App Script, etc. So let's create a Google Sheet. I have already opened a Google Sheet and let's uh, rename it uh, like test synchronize. Copy the full URL of the shape name and insert it to your dashboard URL field. Then write the sheet name. The sheet name means your sheet page name, sheet 1. That's, then you have to copy the app script and navigate to your Google Sheet extensions. App script it will load with a default function so you have to remove the default function and paste the app script code here then save the project then run the code now it will ask permission from your gmail account so review the permission and uh, allow the authentication process through your gmail account Now navigate to the triggers, add a trigger from the right corner, choose the function with do edit and select the event type on on edit and save the changes. After adding the trigger, please make sure that you have the event as a spreadsheet on edit. From your credentials section, we need an API key and a service file. Let's create a project from Google Cloud Console. Give a name to your project. Create. It will load your brand new project. You have to select the project from here. Now go to create credentials, service account. Give a name to your service account. Done. Click over the service link. Navigate to the keys section. Add key. Create new key. It will let you download a JSON file. 
simply save the file on your what local computer then get back to the wordpress dashboard on the service file section just to upload the file you have downloaded now we need an api key get back to the google cloud console from api and services credentials create credentials api key copy the key and paste it to the api key field save changes now we have to enable google sheet api service click over enable apps and services find out the google sheet api and enable it that's all from the google cloud and console then go to your credentials and copy the client email you have to click over the field it will be copied automatically then go back to your google sheet click over share paste the client email and ensure that the role is selected as editor send your access updated now it's time to synchronize your all products all synchronized as you can see all of your products data has been updated to the google sheet if you look into your WooCommerce products, as you have the same products data. Let's make some changes from Google Sheet. I'm going to write a new product title. For example, Gucci sunglasses. Then you can see the notifications are appearing on the right corner now go back to your wordpress dashboard and reload the dashboard you can see the magic the product title has been updated you can also update the product stock and price as well product data will be updated automatically then go back to your wordpress let's check the price is the same price as google sheet if you check the data from WooCommerce product table it's the same title product stock and data if you check from the single product base the product has been updated thank you for watching this tutorial if you face any issues while integrating the whole process please feel free to knock our support forum